Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today, we're making this. Little possible bags out of old Patagonia shirts and old wool blankets, a little bit of leftover buckskin. You can use this stuff for lots of cool projects, so stick around. The first thing you're gonna wanna look for with these projects are old, um, old Patagonia shirts and old Pendletons. Um, you can find these shirts at thrift stores and a lot of times they're so small they don't they don't fit anybody. So I've taken to getting this material and using the raw materials to make something else. I look for stuff that's 100% wool, which this stuff is here, and then I make something out of it. What we're doing today is just basic sewing skills. Anybody can do this. You can either do it with a sewing machine, which is just real basic stitching, or you can do it with a needle and thread. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just cut out a piece of the fabric from a shirt or a blanket, and just cut a square, any size you want. We're just gonna be folding it over. Real simple, no measurements, nothing exact here. Fabric. I'm going to fold it up a little too wide. I am left with a little square of fabric like this, and I'm leaving a little bit of a lip on the top. That's what you need right now to get started. Next thing we're going to do is sew the edge on all sides. We're going to sew this together and make a little pocket. Now you could very easily sew this by hand. This just speeds it up. All I'm doing right now is I'm going to stitch the top edge just so it doesn't fray. If you've never used a sewing machine before, a project like this is one of the easiest ways to get started. It's just straight stitches. Do a little reverse stitch to hold it. It's just a little zigzag. I'm going to do the other side, same exact way. Reverse, hold the stitching. thing we're doing is folding this up so it almost matches the top and I'm going to sew these two sides together to make the pouch. Now what I'm left with is just a little sewed pocket which is just what I want. I like to finish off these as you can see here with a little flap of buckskin and it's good because you know I have little leftover pieces that need a home and really are you know some of this is too small to do anything with so you can find a piece that looks like it will fit well and go ahead and sew that in place next on the machine you can also do it with a needle and thread basic stitches nothing special just a lot faster on the machine. So that's what I'll do. So I've got my piece here. <clears throat> just gonna sew it straight across, nothing special. The seam, the stitching is going to show, and that's okay. I adjust the tension a little bit on this one because I'm sewing through leather. And the buckskin is really soft, otherwise you'd probably want to change your needle over to a leather needle. It's just a regular sewing needle. Same principle. I'm gonna start my stitching, back it up a little to secure it, and then finish the stitch. So I just sewed on the little piece of buckskin. So I'm ready now to sew on the button. And this came off the same piece of this material. This was like a liner for a coat or something. 
So I'm going to take a needle and thread and sew on the button. There we go. Okay, I have my button on there. Now I need to put a hole through the buckskin. So that the button can come through. The seeds about right there. I'm just gonna poke a little hole in and make a slit. It's pretty easy. And adjust it with the button. So you have to be a little bigger yet. add like what I did on this one is a little piece of leather that is going to be able to hang off of a tree or your pack or your belt because what I would use this for is gathering tinder. You can put anything you want in here. So let's add a little piece of leather to this. Got a piece here and again I'm just going to open up my buckskin. I'm going to sew it right here on the corner. I'm going to do that by hand too. Just loop it like this and sew it in place. All right, I got that on there. Button it up. And there you go. You have a little possibles bag in like 10 minutes. So yeah, guys. Uh, don't be afraid to cut up some old wool shirts and blankets and put them to good use. And these make great gifts, right? So uh, make some for your friends. Tinder, snacks, chocolate, it's all up to you. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Don't be scared of sewing. Until next time.